hey, illegal immigrants, you now have the right to remain silent. Really? Should they have the same rights as you as citizens when they break into the country? They all right, the right to remain silent, not just for U.S. citizens anymore. You hear about this? Illegal immigrants must be read Miranda rights before they can be deported to their original nation. Why are we protecting the people who broke the law by breaking in? Joining us right now to put it in perspective, we hope, Kansas Secretary of State Chris Kobach, who helped write the Arizona immigration law. Uh, Chris, does this surprise you? Um, well, it's a surprising development, but if you think about it, it shouldn't be surprising. Put it this way, Brian, when the ACLU and the Obama administration negotiate a settlement, which is what this is, do you think the interests of the American people are going to be well represented? Probably not. And, you know, at the heart of this, the premise of this is something that the open borders left has had for decades, and it's this idea. It's the idea that being deported is punishment. But under our laws and under common sense, we know that's not true. Being deported is just going home. It's not to punishment. It's not time behind bars. And unfortunately, that's the way they have construed this. So now you have this absurd situation where people who, before they accept what's called voluntary departure, are going to be read this list of rights. And it's a bad deal for the American people. And it's not necessary either. Right. Um, but think about it this way. Uh, voluntary departure is a really good deal for both the American people and for the alien himself. The American people get to save the expense and the time of a removal hearing, and the alien, he gets a pretty good deal too, because if he voluntarily goes home, right. then he can come back legally the very next year, whereas if he went through a whole hearing and he gets deported involuntarily, he might have to wait three years or even ten exactly. years but before Chris, he can come back. This is the trend. I mean, think about what happened earlier this week. It got swamped by other major news, and the president uh, lack of strategy. Guatemalan, Guatemalan women, all have to do is to claim, claim uh, domestic abuse, and they can now stay here. So that on the heels of the uh -huh. DREAM Act from 2012, where anybody brought here as a child can now stay here. So little by little, we're just wearing down the border. You've, you've, you've hit upon a really important point. These, these things look like small steps in and of themselves, but together they're huge. And, and let me just mention the, the one you, you brought up, of the notion that someone who's subject to spousal abuse can claim asylum. That is a huge change. That's, the, that's been the holy grail for many on the left for many years, because that's not asylum. Asylum has an international definition, yeah. and a, the definition is that you have a fear of persecution by the government, not by your spouse or by your significant other, but by the government, right. a credible fear of persecution. That's not spousal abuse, and it's going to lead to all sorts of false claims, all kinds of people getting a green card who do not deserve one. But again, all right. of these changes lead to the same result. We'd More like to... Right. We'd like to help people, but we have to help them in their own country. We can't afford to pay for, the, for everybody. We're running a 17 to $18 trillion debt here on these social yeah. programs. Yeah. Chris Kovac, and you know this because you live it every day in Kansas. Thanks so much for joining us. My pleasure.